Okay, I come in here with uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Part 8. Uh, restore, refurbish, repair, rebuild, what have you, whatever you want to call it. So I got this control panel box here. On the back porch here. And as you can see, somebody's already prepared this once, which is no big deal to me. Um, but I'm going to take off all the paint, re-square up all the corners, get this Bondo, Bondo work here a little bit better. Um, you can see here where it was meant for a Simpsons cabinet, and here's the hole that I need for the Turtles cabinet. So, we'll be working on all this, guys. Ah. Yeah. I'm gonna take a picture. Hey guys, this is what happens when you run into chewing gum stuck on the bottom of your control panel. It just gums it up. <laughs> All right, guys, got it all sanded, um, the outside anyways, the bottom here, I'm just going to leave it like that, I'll just primer and paint it, um, I'm going to have to repair these corners, get them cleaned up again, nice and square, we'll do that with some Bondo. Just make it nice and square again. It's it's solid, so I'm just gonna send it. And they cut some notches out right here in the front for the screws when they close the lid for the golden tea crap they had in here. Alright. Okay guys. I took my pick and I dug at this loose stuff a little bit until I got it down into some pretty good stout wood. Same thing on this corner. I, I just don't want to bondo over a bunch of loose particles and then the bondo fall off. Pointless, in my opinion. So, yeah. Find out what I did here. Anyways, I took a pick and picked at this wood until it got uh, good and solid again. All right, I'm going to go ahead and fill, basically clean up this side so I can square up the corners. Okay, I uh, got the first bondoing done, sanded everything back down, so now I'm just going through and lightly retouching any, any uh, spots that needed filled a little bit more, you know, so... Uh, I got this side done and the front done and um, I'm going to do the other side and I'm going to sand it down we'll check it out then and then I'm going to shoot it with some spray paint to kind of, a lot of decals are going to go on here so the bottom needs painted and then uh, just, I'll just paint the whole thing kind of seal everything up I'm not even going to primer it Okay guys, um, there's a mounting hole here, that small one is a mounting hole, and a mounting hole there. They all three are lined up with, uh, you know, where they bolt to the cabinet at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from here to the corner, and here to the corner. To make sure my box is centered in the machine. Uh, if it's off a little bit, I think I'm gonna steal the idea from the Mortal Kombat boxes. The Mortal Kombat boxes have a five or uh, what is it, a seven eight hole right here where the mounting. So that that would allow you to shift the box from side to side a pinch to get it centered. It's my guess of why they do that. So, um, I'm going to measure it. If it's like off more than a sixteenth, I'll probably just drill the holes a little bigger so I can actually slide it where I need it to be. And then 
use a large washer on the bolts to just clamp it down and uh, but uh, I bonded this twice there's still some small tiny imperfections maybe Is it ever gonna focus? I mean, I I just can't. I'm not gonna bond do it again for that. So basically, I'm gonna check the centering on this. Um, then I'm just going to paint this black. I'll pull the hinges out and just spray the whole thing black, and then uh, it'll be ready for decals. Uh, I still have to make a control panel I'm still waiting on a template for that I'm pretty sure that this was an original one and they just drilled extra holes in it but once I can either get an overlay or a template to put on here and make sure that the holes that I believe are the correct ones uh, are the correct ones I can uh, I got three sheets of wood over there. I can uh, build the Simpsons and the Turtles and then I'll have an extra one. A guy I know said he wanted a copy of this. So, Lyle, if you want me to make you a copy of this, I can do that. Just give me a couple bucks for the wood or something. Uh, let me know if you watch this. All right. Alright guys, uh, I think this is the final clip for this episode, uh, kind of looks like shit, but I think as it dries it'll look better, because all the Bondo looks wetter than the rest of the wood, so, hey, it is what it is, we'll see how it looks like, but I got it all painted, it really looks bad, but we'll have to see what it looks like when it dries, alright, well, I figure the next step for this is I'm going to take this monitor housing inside. I got a K7400 that's in a different frame that I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean up this frame. I'll wash the tube, you know, the yoke and everything and the chassis. The chassis does run. It looks good. I'm not going to rebuild it or cap it or anything because it's, it's running right now. So... I'm going to clean everything up and put into this housing for this cabinet because this cabinet needs that style housing. All right, guys, like, subscribe. All right, peace.